All right, so here's the 96580 EFI. Just pulled it out of the uh, sled there. Um, it's definitely leaky right here. I'm assuming maybe a gasket around the oil pump. Well, there's also this guy under here, which doesn't look like it even has any type of clip on it. And this thing's just loaded. So it's definitely going to... I want to take care of that. I had a buddy mention maybe um, the issue with the coolant. So I'm having an issue with uh, overheating on this. And when I started it up yesterday, it wasn't pumping f coolant for some reason. And I shut it off, <clears throat> felt the cylinders, and they were pretty darn warm. And I felt the coolers, and they weren't warm at all. So I don't know exactly what's going on. What I do know is that I replaced the coolant pump housing gasket last year before we went out on the trails and stuff. But I had the front end up when I refilled it, the coolant, and I thought I got all the bubbles out. So, I mean, the air pockets. So, I don't know if I did or did not, maybe, and that's what the issue is. But I drove this, we drove this thing around the neighborhood and the fields and stuff. And I didn't notice one instance of overheating. And it didn't overheat until we took it up north on the trails. And granted, it was a little bit warmer, but, and the trails were kind of, you know, there were some moguls and stuff like that on some parts. And my wife Beth was driving this thing. And so she said, she didn't say anything the first day, but then the second day, which was a little tiny bit warmer, I didn't have a problem with my EXT 580 though. Um, she said it, the overheating light was coming on and off. So long story short, we get it home over the summer. Well, I noticed that once we got it home that the coolant was, actually no, I noticed that once we got back to the trailhead that the coolant was down in the reservoir. It's got a small reservoir on it right there. That guy. And it was down. It was down. I saw it just in this, these little tubes here. So <clears throat> I filled it back up, started it up. You know, once we got home, I did that. And everything seemed fine. So I shut it down and I go back there a couple days later. And all that coolant is gone again from that little reservoir so i did that a couple more times including yesterday and it did the same thing so i'm not sure where that coolant was going and granted it's only maybe a cup of coolant so maybe there's an air pocket in it um but i when i took the fill cap off on this hose right here the coolant was down I mean it was down there so I don't know exactly what's going on maybe it's the thermostat that's not opening maybe it's you know I don't know what the issue is so that's what I want to do is I want to try and find that out before I put this there's my 2000 ZR must be an early 2000 ZR because it's got the 99 hood on it but it's registered as a 2000 so but that's got the 95 ZR 700 in it just waiting for pipes which it's got the D&D on there but I'm going to take them off and just re refinish those with some ceramic paint. <clears throat> but I'm going to stick it in this guy right here. Cleaned uh, power wash this one yesterday. So it's ready to go. So when I make sure that this thing is, you know, 
cleaned up and you're not going to give me any problems when I stick it in there. Um, other thing I wanted to do was check the cylinders while I got this light on, if I can. Let's see. 